And action! You gotta take chances, because if you don't, you end up making the same old thing again and again and again. And there was a reason that I really did not want to make another Haunted House film, because I feel like I've done that so often already. And then the world starts changing. I really made this movie for the horror fans that's inside me. It's great to go back to an original concept that isn't based on anything at all, that isn't a sequel. I think audiences are starved for something that's new and different. I'm excited. Here we are. Let's make magic. <laughs> Malignant really touches on lots of little things that I love from, you know, the entire spectrum of the horror genre. James and I had always wanted to create something together, and so I started pitching him some ideas. We found this little seed that we wanted to grow together, and he actually fell in love with it. We poured each other into the material, into the story, and it just kind of snowballed from there. Uh, so when we first meet Madison, she is from an abusive relationship. She is at a point in her life where she's allowed a lot of unfortunate events to happen. And there's always something kind of about her where she feels like she doesn't quite connect with this world. Whatever you went through before you joined our family, it hurt you in a way that I can't even imagine. The way I've depicted the psychic vision that she sees it kind of hits her from out of the blue. I have a lot of nightmares and night terrors. So night terrors, it's a little more violent, but they also bring ideas. I can't stop them, and I don't know when they're coming. So put it in a movie. She's going about doing her everyday chores at home, dealing with stuff, like she could be doing her laundry, so, you know, cleaning the kitchen or whatever, and then suddenly, She'll be frozen, she'll be locked in place, and then her world will literally melt away and then slowly but surely, we see pops of the second location coming into her frame of view. Can I do that? Woo! The siren, if you have one. I don't know if I do. I can just make that noise. We come in on her husband, like, all backwards, all every which way. But I'm really cool about it, though, because that's the kind of girl I am. It's definitely important to have the comedic elements in this film to act as a foil. That contrast gives the audience that sort of ride. Holy shit. One of the toys that I played with is the spider cam. And there's this really cool scene where Annabelle is freaking out through the kitchen, through the living room, up the stairs, down the hallway, and into her bedroom. I wanted to do all that in one shot. And because it was all built on a soundstage, it allows me to come up with really interesting camera work. Slow down around there, Lon. Slow down. Slow, slow, slow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now go. Almost like a dollhouse, right? You, you, you remove the ceiling, you cut the ceiling off, and you put a camera above there, and you just sort of track it through the whole house. Made for a really exciting and interesting shot. Here we go. Set, ready, and action, Maddie. I chose this project because I believe that James is in one of the bravest points in his career. And I wanted to work with a director who was at that level artistically. This was the right time for me to go back and try something that I'm known for, that I'm familiar with, but at the same time, try it in a world that I've never really played in. I could not have picked a better group of people to make this film with and share this film in with. Thank you so much. Yeah.